And now we have a letdown match. Oh no, people are gonna be sad. Here come the Bible thumps. Unfortunately, with this letdown match, we have, I wouldn't say letdown Pokemon, but since it's a letdown match, I'm calling them letdown Pokemon. On the blue corner, we have Aerodactyl, Abra, and Unknown H. And on the red team, Relicant, Gyarados, and Hitmonlee. Don't you mean you're a dog? You're like Relicant, Gyarados, and Hitmon Miss. Well, if you guys in the chat did not know, a letdown match means each Pokemon has one random move replaced with Splash. Because as you all know, the word letdown is synonymous with the word Magic Card, which is also synonymous in some cultures with the word God. Or Phoebus. Somebody just transmuted. Um, somebody just transmuted an Ursaring. Nice. Want to sit back and relax to this song? It is so good. I listened to this Dream Star theme on Smash Melee a lot. Oh, nice. Streamfall gets an electrode. By the way, Unknown's gonna have Gluttony, so that Salak Berry is going to kick him sooner than it normally would. If I'm not mistaken, doesn't that make the Pokemon go first? Or is that a speed up or is it a critical hit? I don't remember. Less than one minute to go here in this token match. Oh no, excuse me. This letdown match. It's switching an able. Just make sure you don't use the move that has no point. Because, as we all know, what's the point of splashing? We hear a warning siren. Get your bets in for this letdown match if you want to participate. Why would Unknown have helping hand in a situation like this? So really, Unknown H only has two moves it could use. Anyways, we're gonna get this match underway at the Waterfall Coliseum. Will we hear the music? Splash! At the Waterfall Coliseum, it certainly makes sense. It will be the green and red trainers to get this match underway. Green trainer commands unknown to go first, and it's gonna use Nasty Plot to increase its special attack. Oh, hi, Luther Bomb! Elecant turns to Ancient Power, does a little damage. And it looks like Unknown is going to use Nasty Plot again. It now has plus four special attack. That's going to make its Hidden Power Psychic very strong. Elecant comes in with another Ancient Power. Unknown's health is just over three quarters. As the Salic Berry kicks in, it makes Unknown faster. And here comes Unknown's Hidden Power. Relicant is at critical health. Can't respond to the number Ancient Power. And Unknown barely holds on. And now the Green Trainer commands Unknown to use Hidden Power Psychic one more time. Relicant is down. Let's see what the red team will turn to. Looks like the red team's going to be turning to their Gyarados. And indeed, that is who's coming out. The atrocious Pokemon intimidates Unknown, which is a capital ability in this case. Let's see what Unknown and Gyarados decide to do. Unknown goes first and uses Hidden Power! 
Gyarados is under half health with that strong move, and Gyarados uses Splash! What's the point? Gnome's gonna continue to use Hidden Power Psychic. And that's gonna finish off Gyarados with ease. That's gonna put the blue team in very, very good shape for an un underdog payout. Here comes Hitmonlee for the red team. They may be in trouble. Unknown is faster and Hidden Power will end this game. Hitmonlee faints in one hit and the blue team sweeps 170% down. Great job by the blue team. Oh, we beat a totem Pokemon! That was an easy, easy totem Pokemon, in case you were wondering. I think we're having some trouble at our teleprompters once again. I'm having difficulty here in lap boxes. Maybe we gotta hit the side of the computer or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm telling the telling truth. Kaboom! By the way, get your inputs in for Pokemon Trash Gray with one token on the line. A, B, up, down, left, right, start, select, or wait. Any input will do. Wow. So kaboom and the token will go to Money 27. And we enter the fountain of dreams. As oh, looks like we have a possible new Oh, we don't get it. We have a normal match which switching on. On the blue team, Nitto Queen, Smeargle, and Soto Wudo. The red team, Kakuna, Hippowdon, and Cobra Spellbats. like Pack Science has just transmuted several Pokemon to get a Nine Tails. Under two minutes left to get your bets in for this normal match with switching on. Monster Slug, sorry. You just have to hit your mute button on your computer. Ah. I like my car, my car. I guess you're ready because I'm waiting for you. It's, uh, oh, I couldn't get the end of that message. Anyways, um, this Nitto Queen has never melt ice, so it can use its icy wind to greater effect. Smeargle has own tempo, so it cannot be confused. It is also the fastest Pokemon in this match, so it can take advantage of the sport move. Put the target to sleep. So the Widow has Sturdy, although it is a Kappa ability in this match. Kuna has Sniper, so I believe that means that critical hits do more damage. The Power On is uh, has Sandstream, which you know, Darude, and Arbok with the Intimidate ability. So you all know that lowers the. Its, at, um, attack power and holding a poison top bar to make its poison tail stronger. Under 30 seconds left here in this 
betting period for a normal match with switching on. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to get that Laugh Fox's feed back up and running. Anyways, Benny, time is about to expire, and we're about to get this match underway here. Zero the Superior. Why am I using my nails for stupid reasons? Debated. And we're gonna fight Metal Mario. Gateway Coliseum. It'll be the Blue Train. Simulator. Why would Hydro come next? No Queen and Kakuna to get this match underway here. A solid hit brings Kakuna to just under half health. Kakuna responds with cross poison. Quad resisted hardly does a thing. Little Queen continues to use Earthquake. Tears over the ground and Kakuna goes down. And it looks like the red team is going to be turning to hit pout on, and now it's going to be a sandstorm. Oh, got some black hair. Little queen will now turn to its icy wing boosted by never melt ice. That'll slow it down. Out on will turn to Earthquake! Super effective! And Middle Queen is about one quarter health. Middle Queen continues to use Icy Wind. A pretty solid hit, super effective. It will slow down your pout on even more. Powdown comes in for the Earthquake, which will take out Little Queen in a strong, devastating attack. Turret there, Smeargle! Well, it looks like it's going to use Spore. It is faster than all the other Pokemon on the field. Smeargles turns the Shadow Ball, it Pound on holds on. And comes in with the Thunder Fang, but unfortunately it will miss. An unfortunate 5% miss. Oh, but it looks like the Red Corner will switch out their Hit Pound on this turn, sending out their last remaining Pokemon, Harpon. You're just gonna put our box to sleep. Sleepy snake. Type in the chat for good dreams. Sleep tight. The sandstorm. This miracle comes in with another shadow ball this turn. Critical hit on the Arbok, taking it about half health, and the Arbok is still asleep. Arbok dozes off. It falls to half health. Smeargle is looking good right now. Battle ball this turn leaving Arbok at just about a quarter health. And Arbok is still asleep. I wonder how a Pokemon can't wake up in conditions like this. Smeargle staying on that Shadow Ball, coming in for another hit, and Arbok will just barely hang on. Arbok it is still asleep! It has now been asleep for four turns! Arbok is at one HP. And Smeargle comes in with the final Shadow Ball, which will take out the red corner's Arbok, leaving them with only their hip out on left. They are down to their out on, which is, I believe is at about one third health. Oh, 
That will hit the pound on will end this match. Well, it looks like Smeargle wanted to put the pound on to a nice little nappy nap instead of finishing it off. But it's not going to matter. That's that, Pat Rat. The blue team will get a. And so is Joel Cena. Although you tried your hardest, Red Team, it was just not enough this time. But don't give up. Do not stop fighting. Some other time. Just not this time. Come back to our side game. On the line. Make an input. Any input. Oh, we just got a Jolteon transmuted. Congratulations to Snow Joe. night rustic dawn i agree with you wholehearted a lot of inputs on this one token guys i'm really proud of you for going in for that one token it was me what up guys i rigged it commentators hacks In our next match. All abilities of the Pokemon have been replaced with no guard. That means all moves will hit without question. In the start off this match. Hitmonchan. The red corner, we have Rattata, Monferno, and Hodgecrow. Which shows that he is the dominant. But personally, I feel like he won't be so alpha against this Hitmonchan, because Hitmonchan is a fighting type, and he knows Seismic Toss, which does 100 damage. But we do have a quote-unquote top percentage, well, in terms of speed, Rattata on the red team, and it does have a max power return, a strong cut. ...able to get out of the way with U-turn. This is one little slinky Rattata, so the blue corner has to be very careful in who they choose their fights with. Point match with switching enabled. Seems like the blue corner has the chat's favor right now as there is a 73% payout against a lot of luck recently. Smash Hour because we've been hearing nothing but songs with Smash. I gotta say, Dreamland, one of my favorite places. I love Kirby. I've had people in the TPP chat remembered. It's Kirby, guys. Kirby says Puyo. Less than 30 seconds left as we hop on an airship. And yet again, as I said before, the blue corner is still the overdogs here. 
I hope that they get their luck, they get their payout, they get their money, they get everything they wish for. But I also begin with the match as the timer runs out and we are transported to our Coliseum. The red team will have 129% payout should they win this match as we fight multi The Blue and Joel Cena trainers will get this match underway. Cynical Toast says, when will you... Meanwhile, the Blue team will switch to their flag on on the first turn. The Blue Honchko team... goes by the nasty boss. And look it's like the blue corner switching again this time. It's a revolving door of Pokemon! As now, it will... Unfortunately, not hitting the dragon type it was looking for, it will still do a decent amount of damage and reduce Hitmonchan's speed. I wonder if that will make a difference in this battle. And hit my champ face. Unfortunately, big boy bullet hands was not able to take out Alpha Kim Daddy Bird. But Duck. <clears throat> Gold Duck. Wow, Simulator. Don't be too sure. Gold Duck uses Rock Climb. Psychic attack will hit for normal amount of damage, but will take gold up on low half HP. It was a strong attack. More like an um uh Aqua Tail, excuse me, more like an Aqua Kick. And then Honchko comes with another Psychic, which will finish off the Now it looks yeah. like the red corner. Etc. Etc. is in the lead with three Pokemon versus the blue corner's one dragon. And on paper, looks like Honchko would have the advantage as it has. And Honchko will go down. Let's see who the red team will turn to next. Seems like the blue corner is in high spirits here. A turn. But they're gonna turn. <laughs> they turn to Rattata now, the red team does. It will go first and dig up. Hit! And Rattata goes down! As no guard is going to matter. Last Pokemon on each team's side, both with full HP. But Montferno will come in first with the fake out attack, preventing Flygon from getting an attack off this turn. That is a free hit indeed on that Flygon. Power, which would be super effective here. The Montferno's 